Hey everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics, and today I'm going to attempt to make a vivarium. Vivarium? Vivarium. Terrarium. So I'm doing frogs here, so what I'm going to do is put a false bottom on, probably some clay pellets, false bottom, build up, and then try some live plants and see if I can get those plants to root. Now, because this is such a small enclosure, I'm not going to build up any kind of side. I might put something like this on the back or the sides, but it's just so small that I don't want to take up any more space than it's already taken up. Well, even though the dart frogs are only little. But I'm not even sure if this is going to be for the dart frogs, or maybe I'll just get tree frogs, or I don't know yet. But I do know right now I'm going to try to grow some plants in here and get going a whole system. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build like a false bottom, clay pellets, false bottom. I'm going to put a weed blocker down and then put in my dirt. First I'm going to rinse off the clay pellets. Something inside of me is telling me that I should have some kind of PVC, some kind of something here that I can drain the bottom. I think these cost like three dollars to my aquaponics a lot. They're very lightweight. Um, what I'll do is I'll put a weed blocker on top of this so that I can build it up. This way when water goes through the soil, I can see if it's filling up here. Drain here. I might leave a small corner opened over here for a small tubing to go in so I can siphon out if I have to. Put them in. I want to get some leaf litter. I'll probably bake some branches and stuff that I find outside. So let me wrap this up in the weed blocker. I think I have to decide now when I wrap it up in the weed blocker if I want to create a drainage. I think I'm going to have to. Let's see if I put this in here and I take out four of these blocks and put in a little tiny PVC and then I can just cap it and when I need to I take the cap off. That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I have some PVC with uh, holes on the bottom. I'm sure I do from my aquaponics. Okay, I didn't find any PVC, but I did find some of this plastic mesh and the plant basket. So what I think I'm going to do is cut a hole in here, put this in. That's the best I got for now, so that's what I'm going to do. Just so you get the idea. So when you're looking on the outside of it and it's against the glass, you won't see that there's a zip tie there. Not that I think it matters, but Probably doesn't matter at all. This is going to matter a little bit. Right here, this hole, I'll just cut an X right through it. Piping can fit through it. So if there's so much water in here, it's getting all the way up to here, I can stick a little tube in there and drain it. Yep. So I'll just push it through like that. Now, while I'm building this, I'm going to put this on top. No, it's not. That's silly. It doesn't. It's got a big hole in it. <laughs> I'll probably do something to make sure that dirt doesn't get in there. Ah, uh, this is why the PVC would have been better because I could have put a cap on it. I wonder if a soda cap would fit on. If I can wash that off. Bingo! I got it. Put that there so that none of the substrate will fall in. I don't think I need that much false bottom because I think that's just going to take away from my dirt. And do I do that now before I put dirt in? I think I should take some out now before I put dirt in. I could do it the hard way, which is what I usually do. Put it in, did it work, take it all apart, big mess. I'm going to take some of this out. Um. Let's see there. Now let's try the rep to soil. I'm going to try to fill it up a little bit more in the back than the front. I'm gonna go get my little mister. Really? 
Feels good. So this is an experiment. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm really hoping it's gonna work. I'm gonna find my smagnum and it's moist. I think I'm gonna dig it down just a little bit. Not totally, but I don't want it sitting on top. I'm gonna, I'm planning on putting some leaf litter on the top and that should retain some more of the moisture. Boy, I hope this works. You know, I watch these YouTube videos and they make it so, look so easy. I did buy this when I was at the reptile show. And I really like this. Can you see that? Yeah. And I was thinking more like upside down. Oh, my I like that from the side, not the front. Let's try it again. Let's How does that look? I don't like that. I don't like that look. So I got some of these plants. They were like Home Depot. They were throwing them away almost. This one I got for 50 cents. Oh, I hope you can see it. My lighting is horrible in this room, isn't it? But what I'm going to do is take out the soil, give them a good rinsing before adding them. Now I would love to say Pileomollus. Pileomollus is from Vietnam. So I gave him a quick dip. Can you see that? Let's see how this goes. And Put this one in right here. So the way I see it right now, I'm just going to try to grow some plants. This next one, which is beautiful green with purple. Gynura? Let's see if we can read that. Gynura. I can't read. Arantiaca. Gynura Antiaca. Hmm. I butchered that one pretty good, I think. Nephadelphia exilatus. So I think I put myself at a disadvantage here because some of these plants were dying anyway. But I got them at Home Depot super cheap. I'm going to try them. I probably, if I wanted to really know I was going to be successful, I would have bought really good plants to start with. So I'm glad I put that soda bottle cap there. Keep all this dirt out of there. This might be too big, huh? I'm going to give it a shot. This was really pretty. Really, really love this. So there were two of them. So I was able to keep one in a pot. And this one I washed off. Now hopefully there's not too much dieback. I hope there's no dieback. I think I kind of want this in the back though. Oh, look at that. That leaves room for one more. I'm going to go check in my basket of goodies. I kind of really like this, so I'm going to take my chances with this. Dragon's Tongue. I'm from Malaysia. My full name is Hemigraphus Rapanda. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Doesn't look so good after I washed it off, though, guys. But I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to give it my best shot is what I'm going to do. A little more sphagnum. Give it some tender love and light. I'm gonna get some air ferns and put them up top here. I don't have any now, but I think my local dollar store has them. Um, this plant might be a little bit too big for the front, but I'm gonna let it go and see how it goes. I kind of wanted something up front, although 
when you add this, even though it's just that, it does add a whole lot to it. Okay, so I just took off the little, little night crew, very cheap LED. I'll probably keep this on my kitchen table until I can get it established. You see what I mean about a background? If I glue one or two pieces of bark and something in the corner, some air fern, maybe I can get away with it. We'll see. But that's my very first attempt at trying to set up something. We'll see how it goes. I'll keep taking uh, updates every week or so to see if I can get this thing off the ground. I have no idea if this will grow immersed or not. But I am going to put some java moss down. And keep that really super wet. Pothos. Took this out of my aquaponics. If I can get this all the way in the back, growing up that back wall, that might be the piece that's missing. So since I can't really bury it, I'm just gonna add more soil to back there. Hope all this stuff bounces right back. Okay, here we are the next morning. A couple of plants really perked up. I'm really liking it. I'm really hoping this java moss takes. But I don't have a whole lot of expectations, but if it does, Thanks for chilling out with me. I'm going to do updates on this weekly or monthly, depending on how quickly things die off or blossom.